We've loaded a suspect's call detail records into GeoTime. We believe that the suspect is transporting narcotics from Decatur to St. Louis and then finally ending up somewhere just outside of Gainesville. Each one of these dots corresponds to a time and location of where a call was made. When we connect these dots using the entity trail, we can see how these events relate to one another. But to get a better idea of the suspect's movement patterns, we can use GeoTime's 3D view. Here, time is measured on the vertical axis, with the most recent event happening at the bottom and the oldest event happening near the top. So for example, the start of the trip occurs near the top. We see the suspect move, make a several phone calls in Decatur, then move on their way to St. Louis where they make a couple calls, and then finally make their way to Gainesville. The slope of the line tells us how fast the suspect is going. So using the ruler annotation, I can just take these two points here and see at this relatively flat point, the suspect was going rather fast, uh, just under about 60 miles per hour. Whereas if we look at a line segment where there's more of an incline, we can see the suspect was going relatively slow over that period, about 9 miles per hour. In viewing these calls in space and time, the clustering of calls indicates locations we may want to further investigate. When law enforcement officials looked at each one of these clusters of calls, on a subsequent trip, they were able to identify locations which signified certain points in the drug delivery. So for example, this first location, uh, this first series of calls indicates uh, where the suspect was picking up narcotics. The second location indicated where they were dropping off the narcotics in St. Louis. The third location indicated calls related to dropping off the money. And finally, this highly concentrated area of calls indicates where the suspect lives. Viewing the suspect's calls gives us about half the information we need to solve this case. The other half is what a lot of GIS applications have trouble handling, and that is visualizing received calls and call detail records when they don't have location information, which is quite often the case. In GeoTime, these received calls are stacked vertically in a no location bar. Now that we know which points in this journey are important, we can now look at which calls or which other suspects were associated with each one of these locations. So for example, if we look at the first starting point here, we can see that they called this orange entity here. And I can look up that orange entity in the chart and see what their phone number is. What I can do now in this visualization is coordinate suspect movement patterns with suspect call patterns and see which other suspects listed on the side here are associated with each one of these events.